Time, space, energy and matter are all thought to have come into existence over 13 billion years ago in the Big Bang. Out of this expanding ball of energy, matter was formed and drawn together by gravity to form the first stars. However, even stars have a lifespan, and when they die, some explode as supernovae, creating heavier elements like tin. About four and a half billion years ago, our Sun, Earth and solar system formed. The early Earth was a ball of molten rock, as this cooled, the outer surface solidified to form a crust. The crust of the Earth is made up of a number of interlocking pieces called plates that move relative to each other at the same rate as your fingernail grows. This slow movement means that the surface of the Earth is constantly changing. About 400 million years ago, near the equator lay a shallow sea where tiny grains of rock washed from surrounding land masses settled to the seabed as layers of sediments and became sedimentary rock. Over the next hundred million years, the land masses collided, lifting up and crumpling the sedimentary rocks to form mountains. The great pressures generated during this process changed the sedimentary rocks into metamorphic rocks that, in Cornwall, are called killis. Some of the sediments were forced down deeper into the earth, where they melted to form a pool of molten rock called magma. This magma would eventually cool deep underground to form a mass of igneous rock called granite batholith. As the batholith cooled, vertical cracks opened up. These also extended into the surrounding rocks, allowing mineral-rich fluids to flow through them. Eventually these fluids cooled sufficiently to allow the contained minerals such as tin to be deposited into the cracks to form mineral veins or lodes. Over the next 300 million years, the mountain chain was continuously moved northward and eroded to partly expose the underlying granite. The final shaping of Cornwall was brought about by climate change over the last three million years, when ice ages and rapid changes in sea level created the landscape we see today.